Today's flash briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. I'm Elizabeth Watts with this News 5 update. More businesses in El Paso County reporting employees testing positive for COVID-19. That includes three at the McDonald's off Airport and Powers, two employees at Springs Fabrication on Aero Plaza, two residents at the Cheyenne Mountain Care Center near Lake and 115, and one additional employee at the Walmart off Powers and Palmer Park and at the Goodwill location off Austin Bluffs had tested positive. We told you of initial reports of infections with employees at those two businesses on Monday. And the state of Colorado reporting more than 22,000 cases of coronavirus now. That includes more than 1,200 deaths. Nearly 1,000 of those deaths attributed directly to COVID-19. Currently, 463 people in the hospital being treated for the virus. 43 others were discharged in the last 24 hours. Now let's get to Mike Daniels. Thank you, Elizabeth. Hot stuff in the springs on Tuesday. 89 the high, a brand new all-time record high, creasing the old record of 88 degrees. Pueblo, no record, but it was hot. 93 the high. Trinidad, the hot spot in the state for the second day in a row. The high was 96 degrees. Lows tonight on the mild side will have partly cloudy skies, then clearing. 50s for lows for the springs in Pueblo. Afternoon highs tomorrow, unseasonably toasty once again, and it's going to be windy. A red flag warning from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. for the entire I-25 corridor back west. Temperatures tomorrow, one last really warm day. Then we're tracking a cold front that comes in, brings in cooler air on Thursday. Better chance of landing a passing p.m. thunderstorm. Great way to start the weekend on Friday. Gets even better on Saturday. Another cold front early Sunday morning. That'll bring in some fuel for some thunderstorm activity. It'll be cool at 66 degrees. That'll be the coolest day we'll have to deal with here for the next seven days. And in Pueblo, cooling into the upper 70s on Thursday. Then a chance of seeing some thunderstorms by Sunday and Monday. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.